So the box here represents uh, what in system dynamics is called a stock, not the kind of stock that, that you're thinking of, although it comes from the same kind of wor uh, wor source, words. Um, but this is, a stock is like a pool or a vat, and it fills up over time, okay? So the, the amount of stuff in a warehouse is a, is a stock as it fills up. Uh, and these, these double arrows here are like pipes pumping fluid, uh, fluid into the stock or pumping fluid out. So it's a, a fluid analogy. Uh, the, re the reason we use these is it's an aid to, to both thinking and to modeling. But the, the main thing to, to know is that we're, we're representing, uh, that is just to understand the, um, the iconography, the picture, is that the, the rectangle is a stock. So what this is saying is that we request goods if there's a disaster. We request goods and they flow into the inventory on the ground, that is at the local area. And then we distribute it and it leaves the inventory. What do we request? Well, we request whatever we, we wish to be distributing. That's part of the request. And then we also request if our inventory is less than our desired inventory, then we request uh, a correction to the inventory. Uh, so first of all, if we have inventory exactly where we want it, then all we do is we order what we want to distribute, and we keep inventory flat. If inventory is too low, then we need to order a little bit more. And what, what, what do we need to order a little bit more? Well, it will be the gap between the desired inventory and the inventory on the ground, meaning the difference. So if desired inventory is up here and actual inventory is down here, this is the gap that we want to order. Yeah? OK. So the simulation starts out with no inventory. So inventory is 0. Desired distributing starts out at 100. We'd like to have two months of inventory. So if desired distributing is 100, per month, if we want two months, that means an inventory we'd like to have 200. But we have zero. And so our gap is uh, 200 is 200. And we'll start ordering that. As we order it, the gap will get smaller, right? We're always ordering the gap, or actually the gap divided by whatever the time is that we want to get the stuff in. The gap gets smaller. We order less, but we keep ordering. And so uh, inventory starts rising quickly when the gap is larger. As the gap closes, we gradually order less and less. Okay? And so that, we get that kind of pattern. And with that kind of pattern, what kind of a loop should this be? A negative, a negative feedback loop. So this is actually a negative loop right there. And what this says is the bigger our inventory gap, the more we request, the more we request, the more inventory on the ground, the more inventory on the ground, the smaller the gap. So this is our, our feedback loop. If we were to draw it the way we have usually been drawing it, it would look like this. So we have inventory. We have the gap. If the gap, if inventory is low, uh, uh, the gap is high, right? So that's a minus uh, or an opposite. Uh, if the uh, as the gap goes up, the ordering to correct inventory goes up. So gap up, ordering to correct inventory is up. That's a plus. Ordering to correct inventory up, the requesting up requesting up, inventory up. And there's one minus sign, so that is a negative loop. So that's just another way of showing that. So this is very much like the picture we were just seeing. Except now we have, uh, we order, we can request 
But the orders, when we request, the orders don't come to us immediately. The orders go into a pipeline. There's a delay there. And the delay is while the goods are in the pipeline. And now, if we simulate it, we have oscillations. So let's see if we can tighten up why the delay causes oscillation. We have this inventory gap, right? We have an inventory gap, and, and initially it's big. And we, we want to close that gap, so we order, we request orders. And what happens, what happens to the gap immediately? It closes? No, there's a delay. Nothing happens to the gap immediately. And so initially, we, look, we, we order, there's a gap, and we, the gap doesn't go away, so we order, we continue ordering. And so we continue ordering, filling up the pipeline, and then finally, the goods do start coming, coming towards us, and so then we stop ordering, but they keep coming. And so now we have to reverse ourselves and order less, or even cancel our prior orders, and, uh, and, and so that is what is causing these oscillations. Yeah.